Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? I really wish I could say psych right now, but this is a YouTube scene, my <laughs> brothers. Because this is what's going on in video games, bro. These suckers are crazy. Even Lara Croft must change, bro. Even these suckers change Lara Croft. And of course, like Halo getting destroyed left and right by Xbox, Microsoft, the higher ups, right? You also got this here. We, we got the homie. I want to shout out the homie, Andy Pants Gaming. E back, that's the captain. BBC, somebody made a Ubisoft is Dil Lulu, bro. I, you, you can, you cannot make it up. But first of all, I gotta salute to Captain BBC, man. Salute to Captain BBC. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Roll it. So a few weeks ago, I had the act man on my stream to have a casual chat about wokeness in video yeah. games. He denied that women in games are becoming uglier. He what? denied that games are becoming what? less masculine. And he denied that games are becoming more woke. A few days later, he made a video making fun of the idea that there was wokeness in games and got absolutely bodied by his followers. <laughs> Finally, I invited the act man to come back. Now, now, we all saw that debate, right? If you did not, well, it's good that you did not, right? Like, that debate was crazy, and to a certain degree, though, the, the homie Ackman kind of won that debate, though. But he was still dodging the question. Andy Pants Games, right? Andy Pants Gaming. He got good points. Because Why he got good points? Because he's speaking facts. This is what's going on in video games, so you cannot refute it on my stream and have an actual debate and of course he pussied out and canceled so whatever y'all i'm done with the guy i'm just glad he finally exposed himself as the homo that he is but the real thing i want to talk about in this video is this simple question are games becoming more woke yes. if you have your eyes open and have played more than one game in yes. your life it's pretty obvious they are but what the hell what the hell 20 most uh, played console and pc games each year so 2004 main character in game is a man so that's like blue line okay I can play as a woman or a man or I can play uh, only as a woman. But here's the thing, that's not the issue to me, right? The issue to me is that they just race swap, gender swap for the sake of it, to push an agenda and they don't want to make like a good product. Because Lara Croft, female protagonist, and people love that game. People love it to the point where these players couldn't see that, they couldn't bear that. And they also changed Lara Croft, man. They changed Lara Croft. so. Yeah, bro. But just in case anybody disagrees with this simple fact, I'm making a video to show you the most egregious examples of the woke cancer infecting video games. So oh, first off, we need to define woke because they always say that we can't. Merriam-Webster yeah. defines it very clearly. Woke, politically liberal or progressive, as in matters of racial and social justice, especially in a way that is considered unreasonable or extreme. Woke we contains false ideologies within it. No, I do have to agree, like, woke did mean something else back in the days, right? It meant that you were aware of the surroundings, right? You were not gonna let yourself in. Being woke back in the days was a good thing. But that word has been hijacked, all right? The new word is awake. You want to be awake, but not woke, essentially. That's because the, woke, the word woke has been hijacked. Uh, to what he, this gentleman just said, and that's what's going on. That's facts, though. Marxism, critical race theory, intersectionality, and many others. But what is wokeness really about? At the bottom of their hearts, woke people hate anything that is good, beautiful, and true. Woke people hate beautiful women. They hate masculine men. They hate healthy sexuality. They hate normal people. You see this last week with the trans creative director at BioWare designing a character creator where this is the biggest butt you can have, and this is the biggest chest you can have on a... Like... I feel like that even I have a bigger and I'm a guy and I'm a dude I'm a dude I'm pretty sure like a lot of you would be like hey man like I, I got a bigger one down there I and I believe you you don't have to tell me that I, I believe you so this is like 100% glute side 100% glutes size my bad 100% glute and this is what we get that's crazy woman it's obvious the people who made this hate they attractiveness hate women, yeah. in females and in males Another they are the real sexists. They, they are the ones that hate females. The other thing woke people hate is diversity. Say mm. what? Come again, Andrew? Isn't mm. the whole woke movement built upon creating more diversity, equity, and inclusion? Well, that's the genius of it. Woke people say they love representation and equality while only pushing for acceptance by a small group of people. When they talk about equality, I like to ask them this question. Are white men included in the woke movement's definition of diversity? Sorry, Brad, you don't matter. No. Are religious people included in the woke movement's definition mm. of diversity? No. They essentially exclude everybody but themselves. They just want to include themselves. And there's nothing wrong with having like their own group. Yeah, like humans, we humans, we, we are in communities. We are often uh, like we roll with our communities better. And that's perfectly fine. Having your community is fine. But of course, 
when you gonna scream the loudest and not act on it then of course people are gonna question they always scream the loudest hey inclusivity uh, diversity but they never wanna have actual diversity people don't people don't have any problem with diversity people have a problem with of course forced diversity or you know diversity for the sake of diversity or for example right like uh, always making black people gay in the game or in the movies if you're not gonna make a black person gay it's gonna be a black person fat they can never make a black person be normal in video games or movies why why y'all suckers want to do that so they want to first of all add somebody that's black but would make them gay would make them fat ugly they would uglify like the fat person and or usually it's like the black females as well look at that like they would always uglify the fat uh, uh the, the black females man yeah i believe in my queens yeah i love my queens but they always want to turn the queen around though yay they always change the queens though they always change the queens though and i said a million times i'm gonna say it again yasuke what we learned is that he was not a samurai and he was not gay in the in real life it's a real person but ubisoft made him gay in the game that's insanely disrespectful because the man is no longer with us he's dead he cannot come down here and defend himself. So that's what Ubisoft did, just insanely disrespectful on so many levels. They made a dead man in the game and they started spewing crap about him, who he was not. So he, they started spewing on his legacy. They always do that, yeah. To them, brown people don't exist. They're openly racist towards white people. They don't like men. Gamers uh, to them are toxic as well. So who do you guys like uh, at the end of the day, man? You guys hating on everybody. You guys also be using, like, LGBT people as shields, too, right? Like, damn, this thing is crazy, bro. Oh, are big-breasted, beautiful women included in the woke movement's definition of diversity? No. So it turns out woke people actually hate diversity because they despise these groups of people and leave them out of games. To prove <laughs> to you that these people hate white men, the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc., a video game consultancy, recently said this. Also, I don't know why games featuring human characters are still so white and male. Like, imagine the CEO of Microsoft being like, why are people in games so black now? <laughs> <laughs> so there's an obvious insane double standard here. Bruh. This broken, childless woman also said this, pay me to shoot down your white male lead game ideas. But it gets worse. Black Girl Gamers, a racist, woke organization, has publicly stated this, we will not work with white mid. <laughs> Imagine any company saying that. Imagine a company just saying, Yo. nope, if you're black, we won't serve you. Danny LaDonders, who was a game developer on this game called Validate, and yeah. I think she worked for- Oh, this went viral. I remember this went viral. And one of the higher up at the Xbox uh, games division, right? Uh, she also came out and she happened she was white but uh she started being racist towards white males as well right so yeah like go figure i mean what the hell is going on man i thought you guys were all about inclusivity diversity like listen man like uh, hire a person who's capable and good for the job regardless whether he's a man or she's a woman or L part of the lgtv or not lgtv straight or not straight black white brown purple it doesn't matter if that person is if that human human is good for the job you hire regardless of how they look like or who they worship or who they not worship or their color of their skin it don't matter bro but these things want to make that that like bro like i swear to god man we living in a crazy timeline man it was not like this 10 years ago bro it was not like Ubisoft this, specifically said in a video that she doesn't hire white men. There we Just go. Just to go Bumble even further down the brothers. rabbit hole, Ubisoft Bumble has a mentorship blood. program right now where they said they will not consider you for it if you are a white man. Yeah, so guys, as it turns out, the people who rally the hardest against racism and sexism are actually the most racist and sexist. Oops. Uh, this clip from a PragerU video also does a really good job of explaining woke thinking. Critical race theory begins from the assumption that racism occurs in all interactions. Imagine you own a shop and two customers enter at the same time, one white yeah. and one black. Who do you help first? If you help the black person first, critical race theory would say you did so because you don't trust black people to be left alone in your store. There That's racist. If you help the white person first instead, critical race theory would say you did so because you think blacks are second class citizens. Bleh. That's racist too. <laughs> That's critical race theory. It can find racism in anything, even if it has to. Honestly, he ain't lying. He ain't lying. He is not lying. If for, for a simple example, there are people that love accents, different accents. Yes, some people do that different accents thing to make fun. But even then, you cannot say that person is racist, right? But if, yeah, people always use that as, yeah, you're, you're being racist, you're being racist. So 
this is a perfect example. Read your mind to do it. So basically, even if you try to not be racist, according to them, you're being racist. Even if you try to not be sexist, you're being sexist. This is why these people are so useless and evil is because everything you do, according to them, is racist. Always, because you're a white man. But let's be honest, guys, at the end of the day, this is about power, right? They think by calling you racist or homophobic, they have some kind of power over you. Yeah. But the joke's on them. Racist and homophobe are words we laugh at now because the people using this, these words are leftist cowards. It, it seems like that in this day and age, if you're not labeled those words, you're doing something wrong. You saw the act man try to make this statement in one of his recent videos. Oh, I guess everything is woke now, huh? So everything is just woke. This is what's known as a straw man fallacy and it isn't act. Not everything is, but majority of the new stuff that is coming out now is actually an argument. If you lived in a town that was flooding and somebody said, why are you using the word flood so much? I'm so tired of hearing that word. Well, we use the word flood because it describes what is happening right now. More importantly, why are you defending gay ass propaganda in video games? All right, Bro. so I hope I've done a good job of explaining Bro. generally what woke is. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, tranquilo, papi, yo, papi, chill, papi. Eh, pump the brakes, papi, chill, bro. Now, where do we see it in games? Wokeism shows up in games in at least six possible ways. Number one, making female characters more ugly. Number two, replacing male characters with female characters in order to virtue signal. Yeah. Number three, removing masculinity and mass. Not just remove it, just kill it completely. You know, that's what they did to Joel, just cause he was a man. <laughs> Damn, this thing is crazy, man. The Last of Us 1 was an amazing game, masterpiece, man. But Last of Us 2, the entire reason they killed Joel because yeah, he a man, man. He We, we don't want that. We don't want that. Battlefield 5, that's crazy. When did this, this game came out in 2018, right? If I'm not mistaken. Mmm, yeah, yo, that's crazy, right? The Last of Us 2 came out in 2020. Battlefield 5, it seems like that was one of the first big game to try and push push it. That Back when it was starting to happen, and I'm not gonna lie, back then when I first saw the trailer, I didn't notice anything too bad because I was not, I'm not a history buff. First of all, and secondly, I was uh, young, and third of all, I never really, you know, care about any of that crap, right? It's these seconds that are making everybody care about it, right? Like, that that's where, or not necessarily care about it, but uh, it's because of these seconds. They have done it so much that now the normies are waking up. You feel what I'm saying? Because back when Battlefield 5 did that crap, I swear to God, man, I didn't necessarily had any, had any problem. I mean, the reason I didn't have any problem is because I didn't I didn't even notice it at first glance till people started bringing it up. And I'm then, then I was like, oh, crap, okay, okay. But it's only one game, right? Then it became another one, then another one, then another one. And nowadays it's like mostly every game, not every game, but mostly every game that is coming out is like that they are trying to change history they're trying to be racist they're like gender swapping race swapping man just make a good movie good product good game simple as that man make make the game for the gamers bro like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree though but masculine characters from games number four blindly inserting gay black and trans characters in order They'll, to virtue signal. they can they can never make a normal black human bro you guys are insanely racist bro like they always do that Either it's a dude, but he ain't straight, or he fat, or it's a black chick who ain't straight, who's ugly, who's this, who's that. There's always like this and that with it. Just make a normal, just just normal, just make it normal. Make it normal, man. Damn, man. Number five, changing historical events to push contemporary political messages. Number six, softening, watering down, and removing anything controversial or edgy from games. So we are going to look at these six key ways that games have been wokeified, and we're going to track the increase of all of these things in games over time. Okay. Before we get into it, just to give you a larger sweep of the problem here, I tracked the 20 most played or critically acclaimed games from 2004, 2014, and 2024. Uh -oh. You can check my uh -oh. math below and see the games I picked for each year. 2004, okay. we have games like... Oh man, SmackDown vs. Rock classic. Love that. I always would have my friends over at my house. They would bring their controllers. I love the 2007 PS2. I, I love the SmackDown vs. Rock 2008, the first game that came out on PS3. Graphics were way better, for sure. And, and, and for the time, they looked like real life. At the time, it looked like real. They looked like real life. Spider Man 2, the original, yeah. COD Coast, eh, eh. GTA 5, oh hell yeah. You know? Oh hell yeah. 
like Halo 2, Dragon Quest 8, Metal Gear Solid 3. Then for 2024, we have games like Modern Warfare 3, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Elden Ring, because it's still one of the most played games, etc., etc. I then showed in the blue bar if the game only allowed you to play as a man, then the pink bar is if the game lets you play as a woman or gives you a choice between man or woman or lets you play as a trans character. And I think this graph lets you see exactly what is wrong with the game industry. Crazy. As we got away from playing male characters in games, the general quality of video games went down. And I hope that's clear in this graph. All right, so getting into specific games, yeah, let's talk about 12 games that went woke over time. The Last of Us. Ah! The first Last of Us game from 2013 was a heartfelt and masculine journey for its main character, Joel. It yeah. was one of the best-selling games and regarded as one of the greatest games of all time. With The Last of Us 2 in 20... Yeah, uh, and I remember like for the longest amount of time, people were saying nothing but good things about The Last of Us 1, and I never really played, but then I played it. You know, then I played it, and I saw, like, it was actually very good. It was a very good story. And then this is what they did to Last of Us 2. And the craziest, th uh, craziest thing is that I played The Last of Us 1 right before Last of Us 2 coming out. Or when it was announced, uh, no, after the announcement, before, a couple of months before it came out, right? So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna play it when, it, uh, before it comes out. And then Last of Us 2, bro, such a slap, man, such a slap. In 20, the director took a different approach. Joel is killed within the first hour of the game because, you know, men are bad. Men he are is bad. replaced men with Ellie, who flaunts her broken sexuality and is in a relationship with a woman. I honestly- Toxic masculinity. Didn't mind the first with Ellie, who flaunts her broken sexuality and is in a relationship with a woman. I honestly didn't mind the first half of the game, but the last half is disgusting. For the last Abby, 20 yeah. hours of the game, you're expected to play as Abby, Ellie's mortal enemy. She's a really mannish and disgusting girl boss character, and there's a nasty sex scene with her cuck boyfriend. Yeah. So the first game was about masculinity, yeah, yeah. bravery, honor, defend. And they did like a full blown mocap for it. We have that in 4K ray twitching in ray twitching. And yeah, like, uh, uh, you know, Stellar Blade? You remember that? Stellar Blade! <laughs> Stellar Blade, they tried to censor it. Uh, and in Last of Us 2, you got like a full blown scene in 4K ray tracing, bro. That is crazy. And they remastered it! And they remastered it! Never forget, they remastered it on top, bro. This thing is crazy. Ending a young girl. And the second game is about lesbians being a cuck and mannish chicks with big arms. Bruh. This game hits woke checkboxes number one, number two, number three, and four. Gears of War. The Gears of War games in the 2000s were always about masculinity, a common purpose, and brotherhood. It's mm. a very male-focused story, yeah, so it was yeah. odd when the cucks at Microsoft made Kate Diaz the main character of the story now. Instead of exploring themes of brotherhood and duty like the game did before, since 2016 the game is primarily about femininity, sisterhood, and when our periods happen. So yeah, Gears of War went woke and it sucks now. Strong Woke checkboxes number two, three, four, and six have all been hit. <laughs> Saints Row. The original Saints Row was very similar to GTA, but instead oh, of being man. by yourself, you were part of a gang that helps you rise to power. With iconic characters like Johnny Gat, Shondi, Julius, and others, Saints Row 2 is incredibly edgy and hilarious. You buy prostitutes, kill bums, etc. Well, the Saints Row reboot in 2022 seemed to think it was a good idea to replace every single character from this celebrated series with a bunch of gay... <laughs> and this cinematic does look quite decent graphically only, right? Graphically, and when the game came out, it was so trash. They had to shut down their own studio, bro. That's insane, right? Because Saints Row was something that I was like, hey, hopefully it's gonna carry me till GTA 6 trailer. Couldn't even carry us till GTA 6 teaser, my guy. And they ultimately shut down, and that news, like, that happened, like, months ago. Get well, go, go broke. Literally. Literally. Why you guys do this, man? Saints Row was, you know, like, a big franchise. Sega's would always compare it to GTA, yes, albeit memes, sarcastically, dollar store GTA, this and that, but it garnered it audi its audience, and people that played it loved it, though, and, you know, I was saying, brat, like, I want to try it out, I want to play it, uh, and I hope it's good, but guess what, they did it so much that they ultimately had to shut it down. Dudes with their shirts off, ugly lesbians, girl bosses, and trans people, like, huh? Nobody has ever understood their audience worse than whoever took control of the Saints Row reboot. The fans were noticeably upset when this stuff started to leak, and instead of volition changing, they doubled down. They and doubled now the down. studio is closed. So as is often said, you go woke, you go broke. Get Halo. Woke, go broke. Halo was one of the games that got me back into video games in 2004, so I was really stoked to see the woke no. mind virus taking it over now. Here's Cortana in Halo 4. Here's Cortana in Halo Infinite. Yeah. They also yeah, boxy look, and and I think this video is recorded like before this happened, right? Yeah, like Halo. Uh, yeah, so they are changing, changing Halo. They are changing. <laughs> they are changing Halo. 
yeah, hopefully they're not gonna change it, but they are gonna change it, so. Disabled party chat by default in Halo Infinite because, you know, people are soft and can't handle reality now. They killed off funny characters like Avery Johnson. Also, if you look through the armor skins oh, available to you in Halo yeah. Infinite, it's full of this kind of garbage, like International Women's Day, Trans Visibility Day colors, Black Lives Matter. Like, where is my Master Chief draped in the American flag? Where is my Master Chief with a Trump helmet? Like, for some reason they left that out. Why do y'all think that is? And again, talk yo, about just- Yo, what did he say? Helmet. Like, for some reason they left that draped in the American flag. Where is my Master Chief with a Trump helmet? Like, for some reason they left that out. Why do y'all think that is? And again, talk about just not understanding your audience at all. Do they really think Edgelord Halo dudes want to be like, Oh, dude, sick International Women's Day skin, brother. Battlefield. No. So Sweden is overwhelmingly filled with homosexual men. I've established this before. But a broken clock is still right twice a day. In the early 2000s, DICE Entertainment made a few incredible Battlefield games. But in 2018, they done 2018, good. yeah. They took what had been, up until this point, a pretty realistic and accurate war game. And they added women, black girl bosses, and lesbians for no reason. Not a single woman fought on the front line. From Battlefield 4... To Battlefield 5 this is what they done Battlefield 4 is regarded as as the best Battlefield game and yeah between that they had Battlefield 1 which was amazing though and even in Battlefield 1 they had like a diverse uh, diverse characters nobody had a problem why because they stuck with the history they did it right the game was amazing the game was good and they didn't try to push agenda in that and people loved it and also the game was good too Battlefield 5, I feel like that now people like its gameplay and this and that, but at the time, bro, like, imagine seeing that, right? Imagine seeing that. <laughs> Yo, and this was one of the first game, first big franchise, first big game to do this uh, kind of crap. This is where it kind of started to, you know, this is when it kind of started. Of course, it would have started a little bit before that, but this is when it started to feel obvious. Last of Us obvious uh and after the, and now it's like so obvious bro i don't even have to say lines in world anything. war ii in the western front but that wasn't going to stop the gay men of sweden so they put girl bosses in battlefield 5 just to piss you off i saw an article last week that dice is completely changing directions and basically begging for us to come back yeah it's pretty new awesome one, actually the they game. keep talking about how battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 and how they learned their lesson and are going to change now but it's too bad because i'm done with the battlefield games and we'll never play new ones wolfenstein I'll get right to the point with this one. Wolf 2014 is a very masculine, very based, very pro-America, and it's an awesome game. America! Wolfenstein 2017 is a woke abortion full of communist propaganda, Marxist messages, feminism, and inclusion. I also found Wolf 2 to just not be nearly as good of a game uh, gameplay-wise as the 2014 reboot. The 2014 reboot and the Old Blood DLC are both really solid games without basically any political propaganda. It started getting really bad in Wolfenstein 2, but then it hit an absolute fever pitch with Wolfenstein Youngblood. Bruh. Guys, watch some clips of this game and you'll see what I mean. They were every every good franchise is getting destroyed. They are it's just like, dude, and the reason it, it's because I know some people would say like, "Hey, make your own garbage." They tried making their own garbage. Concord this morning, it flopped. <laughs> It flopped. <laughs> they made, they tried making their own garbage. Now it is time to destroy good, <laughs> good franchises. The franchises that people love. Now it's time to do that. I should have said it. You know they have been destroying that for a while, but now it's time to double down. I guess right, guys. Whatever you do, do not watch this video. What they've done to Lara Croft is absolutely sick. It is insane. It is disgusting, man. Damn, these suckers crazy. They hate females, man. They hate women, man. That, that's uh, that's crazy, bruh. Don't watch this video. Check out the video on the left, bruh.